Hey everybody, it's Tammy from fightforyoucoaching.com and today I'm going to talk about advocating for our patients. It's our job. Um, as nurses, we play different roles for our patients, but one of the most important roles that we play with our patients is advocating for them. As, ner as nurses, we advocate for their health, safety, and the right of our patients. Um, to advocate, we must be respectful of our patients. We must respect their privacy. Um, and follow laws at local, state, and federal levels. Um, for instance, here's an example, <clears throat> following those laws. You know, when you live in a smaller community, you will have a lot of people that will ask if they know that their neighbor's in the hospital, how their um, hospital or how their um, neighbor is doing. We as nurses have to advocate for our patients, and we can't give out that information. We have to protect their privacy. And um, sometimes people will get a little bit upset with us, but remember, it is a law that we have to follow. And... I have a really good saying that I say back to people. I always say, if you want to know, become a nurse because there's always a need for them. As patients advocates, it's our job to ensure that the patient understands what their diagnosis is, is what their plan of care is, and um, what's going to be the outcome for them. So say the doctor comes in and visits and you have a patient that is, you know, a little apprehensive. They're kind of scared. They're kind of nervous for being there and full of anxiety and they just don't quite understand what the doctor is saying. You know, we as nurses are there to advocate for them to make sure that they understand that. And we can always um, go back and ask the doctor questions and have the doctor come back in. And I've never had a problem with one of my providers coming back in and re-explaining the situation to them. Um, I became a nurse because it was a passion for me. I wanted to help the patients and prevent suffering for both patients and their families. Um, every patient has the right to be treated with dignity and respect, regardless of their beliefs, regardless of their culture. Um, as a nurse, I don't even, um, I take what their cultures and how they believe into consideration when I'm taking care, to the, care of them, and I respect those. Because it doesn't matter what my belief or cultures are, but it does matter what my patient's belief in cultures are. So I do respect them for that. We as nurses, we don't pass judgment. We don't pass judgment by anything. Everybody that comes into... My hospital or my ER is treated the exact same for me. It doesn't matter who they are or what they do, anything like that. Um, as nurses, we are taught that you treat every patient with the exact same dignity as um, the other patient. They deserve it. Um, being a patient advocate is not a choice. It's part of our job. It's something that we're taught in school. It's... Um, put into our education for us and it's something that all nurses need to do and I really encourage you strongly to do it. We become nurses. Our job description is not just to take care of the physical needs of the patient but we take care of them emotionally as well. Um, so we need to sometimes as nurses remember that even if we're having a bad day that doesn't matter to the patient. What matters to the patient is that we're taking care of them to the best of our ability and that includes physically and emotionally as well. So. That's all I've got for you today. I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions, leave some comments, and I'll be more than happy to explain to you um, any of the laws or regulations that um, keep us from sharing information that's in the hospital or anything like that. Thanks, guys.